In this video, you will learn how to solve this beautiful exponential equation. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, kindly subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics solution. Now to solve this question, the first thing that should come to your mind is dividing all through by 4 to the power of x. Now, why do we have to do that? We did that so as to make the right hand to be equal to 1. Now let's try that. If we do that, we are going to have this to become 1 to the power of x divided by 4 to the power of x, right? Plus 2 to the power of x divided by 4 to the power of x. And this will be equal to 4 to the power of x divided by 4 to the power of x. Great. Now, if you look at that very well, you come to notice that the right hand side will be equal to 1 because 4 to the power of x divided by 4 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now, the left hand side, to simplify the left hand side, I want you to recall a law of indices. And that law states that if you have a to the power of x divided by b to the power of x, this can be equal to a divided by b and all to the power of x. Good. Now, if we apply it over here, we're going to have this to become 1 divided by 4 all to the power of x plus 2 divided by 4 and all to the power of x. Great. Now, let's see how we we'll simplify this. From that expression, you come to see that 2 divided by 2 will give us 1 and 4 divided by 2 will give us 2. So we have reduced that expression. So that expression will now be 4 divided by 4 all to the power of x plus 1 divided by 2 all to the power of x and this will be equal to 1. Great. Now, for we to go for that, I want you to bear something in mind. That if we have a to the power of 2, 1 square is equal to 1. And if we have 2 to the power of 2, this is equal to 4. Now, if you have that in mind, now get to note that that expression will now give us 1 divided by 2 all squared because 1 square is still equal to 1 and all of these will be to the power of x plus 1 divided by 2 all squared all to the power of x and this will be equal to 1. Good. Now, also recall a law of indices. In that law of indices, if we have a to the power of x multiplied by the exponent y, this can be equal to a to the power of y multiplied by the exponent x so this is more of an inverted exponent so if we apply it over here we'll have this expression to now give us 1 divided by 2 all to the power of x and all of these will be to the power of 2 and this will be plus 1 divided by 2 all to the power of x and this will be equal to 1. now do you see something happening there we have 1 to the power 1 divided by 2 to the power of x common. So let us let our 1 divided by 2 all to the power of x to be equal to y. That will simplify that expression. So if we make that to be that, this expression will now give us y to the power of 2 plus y and this will be equal to 1. So to simplify this, we are going to subtract 1 from both sides. So that will give us 1 square plus y minus 1. And this will be equal to 0 because 1 minus 1 is equal to what? 0. Great. So we have arrived to what we call a quadratic equation because the highest exponent we have there is 2. So we are going to simplify the quadratic expression. Now remember the quadratic formula. For we to find the value of y, the value of y will be equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac and this will be divided by 2a. 
great. So having gotten this, what we need to do is to recall that from data expression, A is equal to one, B is equal to one, and uh, C is equal to negative one, great. So having done that, we are going to substitute that into the quadratic expression. So we'll have our y to be equal to negative one plus or minus square root of one square minus four multiplied by one multiplied by negative one. And this will be divided by two multiplied by one. So what would that expression give us? That expression is going to give us y to be equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square is 1 minus times minus is going to give us plus 4 times 1 is 4 times 1 is 4 so that will give us 4 divided by 2 times 1 is 2 so that whole expression will give us our y to be equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So from that, we can have two solutions. The first solution is negative 1 plus square root of 5. And this will be divided by 2. Or we'll have the expression to be negative 1 minus square root of 5. And that will be divided by 2. Now recall from our original expression that this expression can still be written as root 5 minus 1 divided by 2. We have not changed anything or this can be equal to negative 1 negative square root of 5 divided by 2. So recall from our original expression that we said 1 divided by 2 to the power of x is equal to y. So let's bring that to that expression. Remember, our main aim is to find the value of x. And we said earlier on that 1 divided by 2 all to the power of x is equal to y. So if y is equal to these two values, let's substitute that in. From the first expression, our y will be equal to one divided by two all to the power of x so what will you get there we are going to have a one divided by two all to the power of x to be equal to square root of five minus one divided by two or that expression will give us one divided by two all to the power of x equal to negative one minus negative square root of 5 divided by 2. Now let's consider the left hand side of that expression. Now for all values of x equal to negative 1, 0, 1, 2 and on and on, the right hand side of that expression will always give us a positive what? A positive value why the left hand side will always be what negative value and remember mathematically negative can never be equal to positive as a result of that we are going to neglect this as solution and the only solution we have which is real and uh, straight is one divided by two all to the power of x to be equal to square root of five minus one divided by two. Now pause the little and ask yourself, how do we find the value of x from this expression? The only solution to this is to take the log of both sides or the natural log of both sides. Now let's work with the natural log. We we'll have the natural log of one divided by two all to the power of x. And this can be equal to the natural log of square root of five minus 1 divided by 2. So if we simplify this, remember from the law of logarithm, this will come over here to multiply the natural log of half. So that will give us x 
multiply by the natural log of 1 divided by 2 and all will be equal to the natural log of root 5 minus 1 divided by 2. Now, remember, we are going to divide both sides by the natural log of 1 divided by 2. If we do that, the main reason why we do that is to clear this from the left-hand side. So we'll have the natural log of 1 divided by 2. While this clears this, we'll have our x to be equal to the natural log of root 5 minus 1 divided by 2 all divided by the natural log of 1 divided by 2. We are gradually seeing the end of this uh, long mathematics question. Now the value of x will now be equal to recall a law of logarithm. If you have the natural log of a divided by b this can be equal to the natural log of a minus the natural log of what? b. So, we are going to apply that in that solution. If we apply that to that solution, that expression will now give us our x will be equal to the natural log of root 5 minus 1 minus the natural log of 2 and this will be divided by the natural log of 1 minus the natural log of what 2 and this will be the solution to that exponential equation that was given to us now the value of x is equal to this now i want to give you a tax find the value of the natural log of root 5 minus 1 subtract it from the natural log of 2 and the natural log of 1 is 0 subtract it from the natural log of 2 and let us know what your value of x will be like drop your answer in the description section of this video and i'll be so glad to engage with you don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share this video with friends and colleagues and remember to subscribe to my channel kindly for more mathematics solution thanks so much for watching and bye-bye for now.